Hello friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Trinity Stamps video. Today we are going to be making a four bar card, but let's talk about the products we're using. This is the Here's For You stamps and the matching dies. These are so stinking cute. Those darling little mushrooms with hands and facial expressions. We're also gonna be using the four bar envelope builder. And then we also have the A2 Foundations oval stencil. I went ahead and cut down my panel out of some white cardstock using one of the dies from the envelope builder. And then I'm going to pull out one of our stencils and I'm just going to kind of line that up over the top. This is the, it's got four different ones with it. It also has masks, so it's great for this. I'm going to put a little mint tape on the back and then just center this up because typically these stencils are for like A2 size cards, but obviously you can use them on any size card. Um, I say they're for A2 because they have an embossed edge so that it's very easy to line up your paper on the back. I've brought in a gray ink along with one of my blender buddies and I'm starting blending and I'm trying to go a little bit darker on the outside edge and then bringing it in a little bit softer so that way the middle is a little bit more white and that way there is definitely some differentiation from the outside to the inside. And there you have it. So now we're going to stamp our image which is this little mushroom who looks like he's very, oh no, very upset. <laughs> And I did that with some blackout ink on Expressit cardstock. And I'm going to put the colors up on the screen for you. We are doing some Copic coloring. And I'm starting with my lightest color, which is an R83. And I chose colors. This was a time where I picked a color combo and went from there. So I went with more of the like purpley red, like red violet type colors. And so this next color is R56. And that is drastically different than the R83, as you can see. And it, uh, you know, it looks very, very harsh when you're looking at it there because I haven't blended out yet. And then I bring in an even darker color, which is the RV99. And that is very dark, but I end up loving how this looks. I bring back in the R56 to blend out the RV99 a little bit. And then when I bring in that R83 and blend even more, it looks so much better. It looks you know, pretty good. I actually love how drastic the color change was from that R83 all the way to the RV99. I'm going to bring in a YG63 for some grass, and then we have our W's for the rest of our mushroom. I brought in the W3. I'm going to put down a light wash in the area that I want it, just for where I think that there might be some shadowing and shading, and then bring in the W5 and just add a little bit there and then blend that back with the W3. And then I end up bringing in a W1 just to soften those edges a little bit more. And I like how that looks. So we're gonna bring in the matching die, tack that down with a little bit of mint tape and run that through our die cutting machine. And then we need to stamp our sentiment. So I have some black card stock and I've got some juicy embossing ink. I'll stamp that down and cover that with some white, fine detail white embossing powder. And then I'll heat set that till that is smooth and melted. And I, I love the pun here that says, oh, shiitake. It just goes perfectly with our little, dis, you know, just upset mushroom. He's too, he's too cute. And then I'm going to bring in this specialty paper. I don't know if it's something that's around anymore, but it's called Falling Glitter. And I went ahead and die cut out the I-O-U. I thought that was perfect. This is going to make a cute little thank you, like, oh boy, I really owe you. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and glue down our mushroom. You could use foam tape, that would be fun too, but I'm just going to glue, uh, glue that down. And then I'm going to start gluing down our letters. I'm going to start with the O, that way I've, I'm at least trying to center it a little bit better than if I had just started with the I. So if you start with your very middle letters, you have a better chance of having them centered. Um, I don't know that it worked for me this time, but you know, close enough, right? And then we'll get our I down. And then originally I thought about putting the Oshitake right over the top of IOU, but I changed my mind last second. We're allowed to do that, right? And I put it up in the upper left-hand corner. I pull out some embellishments. These are the um, forest fern baubles. And then before I put that down, those baubles down, I'm gonna grab out a card base. This measures seven inches by five inches and it's scored at three and a half. So when it is closed, a four bar card measures three and a half inches by five inches. So it's perfect for those little notes that you need to send like little thank yous and things. So I'll glue down my ba or my panel to my card base and you can really see that embossed edge that that die gives that panel. I love that so much. I love those extra little details. 
And then I do decide I need to stamp a little guy on the inside. So I'm going to grab the happy one and he's going to get inked up with some triple berry ink. It's like a purpley ink. It works perfectly on the inside there. And then now I can grab out those little um, forest fern baubles and I can put those down where I think those are going to look good using my pickup stick. Love this new pickup stick. And then I'll grab out my liquid glue and tack those down ever so carefully. Just using a few of them. I just, you know, just adding those little embellishments. It's funny how that, again, takes it to the next level as well. All right, I can't stop there. I gotta, I gotta make a matching envelope since I have it out. And so I'm gonna grab that same paper that I did the IOU with and cut those out. You need one of the big pieces and two of the side pieces. And it does do all of the embossing lines. So you can easily just, or score lines. So I'm gonna use my liquid glue because that is a nice strong adhesive to ensure that this envelope isn't gonna fall apart when it goes through the mail. And yes, you can send these specialty paper ones through the mail, but you might wanna do like a, um, put one of those stamps on there that's like a you know hand done so that it doesn't just go through the regular mail, but I also use clear envelopes for these, so I'm not concerned. I just stick those inside the clear envelopes and they get through just fine. So that way the envelope stays intact for sure. And then I'll use a little bit of liquid glue on this edge and I am gonna do it on the closed edge over here. And then I can just close that up and then do our bottom. That's the last bit you wanna do. Obviously don't close up the top yet. You haven't signed your card, so <laughs> we'll do our bottom. Let that dry a little bit. And then that is actually gonna finish off our card and envelope for today. So there it is. I just think this is so fun. I love this size card and it fits so beautifully inside of our little envelope, just like so. Love it, love it. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Big thank you to all the support that you guys give me, whether it be using my affiliate links, hitting that like or subscribe button, or just just being who you are, I appreciate you so much. Have a great day and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.